all right guys welcome to a new video and today i'm going to be sharing with you um about four tips that can um, improve your use of photoshop all right so four tips you need to know that will make your use of photoshop easier and better for you so the first tip is um how to arrange your um your workspace all right so now when you talk about workspace you know this is the workspace you can see all these things that are here you know and uh, and um, all the layers all the um, tools and everything all right so when you come to workspace and you click on default this is how it will be so workspace default let me reset so this is how it will look like all right so now a lot of people don't know how to arrange it to make things easier for them so one of the things i recommend is first i recommend moving this this two section to this other side all right so because most times we come to our layers we come to our things here so it's always easy when you select your tool here rather than crossing over your image to come and select mixer brush you can just quickly select it here you have your layers here everything just makes it easy so moving this to this other side you know it's nice so i don't know how many of us use color swatches the you know gradients and patterns i don't know how many of us use them so but personally i don't so i just click on this and i'll close this entire group so i'll close tab group so once i close tab group so the next thing i will do is to take these properties and bring it to this place so now i have adjustments and i have libraries so i will go and bring action because i use actions a lot so when i click on action i mostly drag and put my action on top then i would switch to my you know um, adjustment adjustment so I'll make sure in case this your this side is not wide enough you can make it wider but I just make it you know make sure the actions are in two in two rows so I can easily see all my actions so my actions are here my adjustment is here then my libraries I also use libraries I'm going to show you how to use libraries you know in this uh, video so I use libraries and then you have your layers channels your parts and all of that so I have history here so I use history then these are properties so for example if i click on you know any of all those adjustment the properties will pop in this place so another thing i also use is uh brush settings so I, my brush settings and brush yeah so in case i want to change my brush patterns and all of that so let's see what else i'll use um okay so that's all i use actually that's all i use and that's all i use so if i, I have other panels like infinite color panel i have you know so for example i have beauty retouch panel if i click on beauty retouch most times i bring sorry so if i click on beauty retouch panel so most times i just bring my beauty retouch panel over to this side all right because i don't use it often so i just use mix up you know use a frequency separation and dodge and bone you know i don't use the other things like that so i have it here then if you use you have other extensions like the infinite color panel so you can click on infinite color panel so you can have it here you can click on you know the pz juggler and you can have it here as well and then you can click on your um adobe color themes which i also use you can click you can put it here so my internet is not on at the moment so that's why it's not loading but you know I'm going to turn on my internet so you see what we'll do with um, the library because the library uses the internet so now when you have all these things set another thing you can also do before you save because you can save this workspace to look like this all right you can save this workspace to look like this so that whenever you know you open photoshop if everything is scattered you can actually come back to this setting so but before i save this there's the second tip i'm going to show you is how to add shortcuts so edit you come to keyboard shortcut so on this keyboard shortcut so you can come to if whatever you want to add shortcut to for example if it is filter you can come to filter and let's say you want to put shortcut for your your um let's say you want to put shortcut for alien skin for example those of us that have alien skin you can click on this and put a shortcut so my shortcut for alien skin most times i use control shift comma so 
I don't want to use what what's already being used. All right. So if you use Control P, for example, Control P is already for print. So you will not have to, you know, when Control P comes here, it will have to delete from being that um, act shortcut for printing. So most times I just use shortcut that I can easily, you know, work with. So Control Shift, comma Control Shift, full stop. So you can add shortcuts, you know, different shortcuts like that, and um, you can click OK. So it depends on all the the filters you have you know different filters you have you can add shortcuts for all of them and they are already shortcut for the inbuilt photoshop filter so you don't need to add a shortcut but if these shortcuts are not working for you you know you don't like them you can change them actually so another thing you can also do is to set your brushes you know you can set your brush you can set so for example this is my normal brush i can come and set my brush to a soft round pressure opacity if because a tab all right but if you don't use a tab you can just put on the soft round brush that will work fine for you then for the mixer brush you know you can do the settings and then come to this place and put the soft round brush so once you have all this set you can save this workspace come to window come to workspace and click on new workspace and then make sure the menu the toolbar everything is checked and you can write the name so I'm going to put the name which is new okay so let's say new workspace workspace 2021 so that's the name so that's the name I named so for example if my Photoshop opens and it's on default like this it's not, it's not this so let's say it's on default like this so if i want to go back to that my arrangement come come to window come to workspace and i'll come to new workspace 2021 automatically to set it this way so those are the two tips i have first so let's go to other tips i have so the third all right so the third tip i'm going to give to you is creating your watermark action so some people i see them dragging and dropping you know all the time their watermark and it makes you know it takes a lot of time so this is how to create the action for your watermark so the first thing i'm going to create a new folder a new set so let's say personal action so whenever i create any action so it will be under this personal i can keep it here so on the personal action i'm going to create a new action i'm going to call this action watermark address so because i'm using my 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 web address for this particular watermark so and it's going to be under the personal actions then i can put a shortcut if i want so if you put a shortcut so maybe let's say you know let's say f5 and i'll just press shift f5 anytime i press shift f5 the the water the what the this action will just take place so i'm going to give it a color so i can really easily see it i'll click on record okay so the shortcut so I'll, i'm going to add control so that act that you know stuff you're going to add control to it so shift control f5 so i'm going to click on record so i click on record so the next thing you see the next thing you have to do is to drag and drop all right so i'll just go to where my where my watermark is so i'll just drag and drop on the image so when i drop on the image so it has already started recording so the next thing i want to do and drop so you can see it then i'm going to press ok so the next thing i'm going to do is to press ctrl a so once i have ctrl a pressed i'm going to come to my arrow key so this is my arrow key i'm going to click on this center and i'm going to click on this down so automatically what happened is that it's going to put that particular watermark at the middle down so if you don't like it there you can so most times i don't recommend you dragging by yourself because when you drag by yourself you know at the end of the day when you are running the action the action might miss it up so i just use these two things so i'm going to press stop on my action then so if i play this action now if i click on play you can see so i didn't add sorry when i do that the next thing i'm supposed to do is to let me continue my record i'm going to press ctrl d so when i press ctrl d so i can stop now so if I delete these layers, delete this layer, 
so if i do my action i'm going to press ctrl shift f5 automatically it brings the watermark here for me i can drag it to any area i want if it is obstructing anything so but by default it will always come to the center down at the center so that is the third tip so now for the last tip today all right i'm going to show you how to save how to save um color lookup all right so i'm going to create a new document now so let me create a new document from this create a new document so most times whenever you want to although this is not edited but whenever you want to you want to save color lookup make sure you only you have your background layer all right so this layer make sure it is locked so i'm going to flatten it make sure it is locked and then make sure the only thing you have on top are adjustment layer so for example with this image i've edited like this with all these layers showing if you create a lot on it your, your lot is going to be wrong so make sure you merge all these other lower parts and you only have the the color grading part on top so let's assume i've already merged everything i've edited i've done my frequent separation i've merged now i can now add my color grading i cannot do my color grading to my taste so let's assume sorry let me do a proper color grade so i cannot do my color grade so i can come to red so i'm going to darken it and just add some so maybe add some selective color so let's just add some of the presets i already have so that to make this video faster so i can even add a lot so let me come and add one of my lots which is encourage lot 11 so i'm going to reduce the opacity so and then i'm going to desaturate this image and add some vibrance to it and let's assume this is the color grade i wanted for this image so you can see i can group them together this is before and after so let's assume this is the color grade uh, maybe i'll just put photo filter there just add a blue photo filter cool a blue photo filter all right so i think i like this so make sure all the adjustments you are using are adjustment layers and don't mask anything so once you have this all right i can easily come to file come to export and i will export color lookup table all right i want it in cube you can do 3dl and you cannot put the name so let's say this is trial i'm just doing a trial you know color grade and i'll click, click on ok so it will show me the area i want to save it to so let me go and save it to this particular place and i'll click on ok so i forgot to rename it you can rename it there so i've done that i can hide this i can come to i can come to you know my color lookup look you know load my 3d lot and then i'll come to documents and yes okay so you can see the same effect this gives is the same effect from this all right so everything has now been combined into a color look look up that you can always apply and add then still i want to show you is how to add things to your library so for example you can see my library here all right but you need the internet to be able to use this so i can create a new library let me just call it color grade so this is my library of color grade so when i create color grade so now i can drop anything into that so for example this adjustment these layers i've created i can just drag and drop them in the skin grade i have created this so i deleted it from this place so the next thing to do maybe i have an image maybe i was edit so for example maybe let's say i was editing i don't want to apply this color grade so i can easily just drag and drop on my image so but once i drag and drop you might not see the effect okay so i'm going to click on this cloud here it's going to open as a new document you can see all the layers here i'll just need to drag those layers and drop it on top of the image so you can see that even if you you don't have your laptop with you you log into your maybe you are editing with somebody's laptop you log in your id your you know um, adobe id you can always see this color grade and use it so this is one way i save my color grade so that i can always use it anywhere even if i'm using another person's laptop all i just need to do is to log in my adobe information and then i have this so i hope this video was very informative so if you have any questions please let me know please leave a comment in the comment section please subscribe to the youtube channel join the telegram channel we're going to be doing a challenge very soon and 
keep creating so thank you guys and have a wonderful night bye